Want to know how to create data flows to define data source transformations and create an enriched output data set to use in reports? Let me show you how. Begin by creating a data flow and selecting the first data source. Search for and select the sample order lines data source. This data source is an Excel file already uploaded to the system and contains order transaction details such as sales and product name. You can preview the data as you build the data flow to see the data transformations. Add a step in the data flow to pull in data from an additional data source. Search for and select the sample states data source. This data source contains order details such as order date, postal code, and region. Since both data sources contain the same column, which is city, it's automatically used for the join. Continue building the data flow by adding a step to remove the columns you won't need to use in reports. Use the control key to select multiple columns and then review the results. Next, add a step to create a column based on the existing customer name column that only includes customer first names. Build the expression to create the new column. Validate the expression. Make sure to apply your changes before you continue. It looks good so far. Keep going by adding a step to rename the customer segment column to better meet your business needs. And then preview the step. Add the final step to save the data. Name the data flow and save it for use later in reports. Run the data flow. Data is retrieved from the data sources. All transformations are applied and the resulting data set is stored in the system. Go ahead and test the data flow in a data visualization to make sure it creates the results you expect. Create a workbook from the sales data data set. Use the control key to select multiple data elements and select the scatter chart visualization type to begin examining the data. In this video, I showed you how to create data flows to define data source transformations and create an enriched output data set for use in reports. Check us out at docs.oracle.com.